had some requests recently to talk about how to film a travel vlog, so I am coming to you here live on location from Quito, Ecuador to show you how I shoot my travel videos. Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie Steckley, and here I love to talk all things travel and filmmaking. Let's talk about my vlogging setup. So right now, Dan is filming me on the Sony RX100, which it's really nice to have a lovely second shooter to help you out and get clips of you and that kind of thing. Uh, but even if you don't have someone to film you, there are still lots of ways to get in your videos. My main vlogging rig for traveling is this Canon ADP, the 24 millimeter f2.8 lens. I mostly keep this lens on. It is a bit challenging to only have one focal length, so it's really nice to have the RX100 as my sort of zoom lens, um, more versatile camera. On top of the Canon 80D, I have the Rode Video Micro, which is a great, really compact, high quality microphone. There's no extra batteries. All you have to do is plug it in and you're good to go. This is all mounted on top of this Gorillapod, and I have a camera strap so that I can wear it kind of like a bag. And it's also less likely to get stolen, that kind of thing, if I can wear it around my body. And then as soon as I want to shoot something, I can just pick it up. If I want to shoot myself, I just take it off and then I'm ready to go. And of course, I can set this up on the ground to get shots of me walking around in the environment. And that is my basic vlogging setup for travel. That being said, you definitely don't need all of this stuff. You can start with an iPhone, like I always say, or something like the RX100 as a point and shoot. All are great options. I just love this because I also like to take pictures on my Canon 80D. I like that I can get the high quality audio and I can switch to different lenses if I want to, though I do find myself often just keeping the 24 on because it's a good standard focal length. It works out to be about 35 millimeter full frame equivalent, uh, which I think has a nice classic look. That being said, let's go up the tower here at La Basilica and see the views. Forgot that feeling The sun in my face, it's so well needed Life will take care of the rest So we just checked out the Metropolitan Cathedral of Quito and it's beautiful and so while we're here I want to give you another tip about travel vlogging So when you go to a new space, say like Independent Square I would suggest walking around, getting a sense of the environment and then deciding what things that you want to focus on in the video. Then try to vary your shots of each of these things. Get a wide shot, get a closer up, get some like texture shots to fill it in and make a really nice cohesive B-roll sequence that you can then cut over top of your explanation of wherever you are. So just try to vary what you're filming to get a wide range of different shot types um, to keep the viewer interested throughout. And I would say always err on the side of shooting more. Like if you think maybe I'd want to use this, but I'm not sure, just film it anyway because you're going to thank yourself later when you have extra footage that you can use in your video. I think it's also nice to just walk around the place you're going to be filming first, just to experience it from your human eye before you get behind the lens of a camera. Yeah. That's also an important part of travel. Take it in first and then dedicate, I would say like, 10 to 15 minutes, depending on the size of the space, to just filming everything that you experienced and kind of make that your process rather than going into it just filming the whole time. Yeah, walk in, see what strikes you, see what looks cool, see what parts you enjoy, and then, you know, challenge yourself to film those parts. Today we decided to take a gondola ride up the mountain to get a beautiful view of the city of Quito. And so it's an amazing opportunity to get the drone out because the nice thing about this is actually the GPS connectivity is prime because there's nothing in the way and we're so close to the satellites this way. <laughs> anyway, I just thought I'd talk briefly about droning. Try to find a place that isn't super crowded because it's overwhelming and there's people around watching you while you fly. Make sure there's not a lot of buildings or like tall metal objects in the way that can get in their way of your controller connecting with your drone. And just try to be calm and you know, take it one step at a time. I don't know if other people get nervous about flying drones, but I definitely do. It's stressful because you are like flying an expensive camera way far away from you and yeah, but try not to think of that, I guess. Anyway, we're gonna pack up the drone now and keep on hiking. Now 
Now we are at Matad del Mundo, which in English is the middle of the world. We are right on the equator, so we can step one foot in the southern hemisphere and one in the northern hemisphere. And I am coming to you from this really cool location to tell you another tip about travel vlogging. Don't be afraid to put yourself in the video. Something that I see a lot of when people start making their first travel videos, just documenting their vacations, is that I never get to see their face. It's always them filming from their perspective, but never of them. And I think it adds a lot to the video and it makes your friends and you know potential YouTube audience connect with it on another level if you actually vlog, film yourself in some way. So obviously, pulling up the camera and just filming your face talking about where you are is a great way to do it. But you can also you know use like a mini tripod, set up the camera and walk past it to show yourself in whatever location you're in. And it just makes it a lot more interesting to watch because when it comes down to it, your videos of the tourist location aren't gonna be that different than anything you find on Google Images. So if you can put yourself into it, it'll be a lot more interesting. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed these tips all about travel vlogging. If you wanna see more tips and tricks all about filmmaking and travel, make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my future videos. I upload them every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday, and I would love to have you along for the ride. But before you go, please make sure to check out this video of my travels. You won't want to miss it. Trust me, just click on it. It really helps me in the algorithm. I would super appreciate it. As always, I hope that you are having adventures and following your dreams, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!